Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, Mr. Panda the Sheepadoodle. And today I'm just going to be doing a quick review of a product that we picked up right here. And it's called Musher's Secret. And the reason why I wanted to just put up a video on this is because Panda's been going through some issues with his paws. Hey Panda, you can take a look at this product that we're going to be putting on you. Okay, don't, don't be looking at too much there. Good thing it's the product's closed. Um, but let me first just show you what's going on with Panda's paws and see if I can get a good angle here of one of them. And so this gives me a good opportunity to show you what's going on with his paws. As you can see, he's got this roughness sort of on the corners, some, sometimes in the center of his paw too, but especially on these corners here, look at this. I'll try to go as close as I can. And it's very rough and they're hair-like. And on Google, obviously I've Googled it, hyperkeratosis might be the problem that's going on. That's what some people have mentioned. Um, when vets and groomers have looked at this, they've sort of mentioned it could be either that or potentially him just walking a lot on pavement or potentially allergies. We don't really know exactly what it is. Um, we clean Panda's feet almost on a daily routine basis when he comes in the home. One day we'll show you what we do. But um, this has been sort of growing ever since he's was, was young. And so we've tried a lot of different things using different types of wipes to clean his feet, um, dog friendly wipes. We've been just, you know, maybe wiping it down with water. Um, we've tried, you know, different types of um, oils, uh, even coconut oil as well. We've tried even petroleum jelly. Um, and so, but nothing has really worked. We're not medical professionals or anything like that, but we're definitely always open to, to trying different things to see if we can sort of help this problem for Panda because we do know that he does, he does lick his paws a little bit more and um, at times we do know that it's a little bit painful. So if I touch it sometimes, um, he might react a little bit. And so when we looked up, um, what we actually went online and asked some people on different face group chats and it seemed like the most popular um, thing to try out is this Musher's Secret. And so we're gonna trial this for a few weeks to see what happens and hopefully we can report back to you in a few weeks to see if there's any any noticeably uh, changes or, or difference or improvements. And so I'm gonna open this up here. So we're gonna take a look at this. Um, I actually took a little bit already and put it on one of his other paws. But we're gonna put some more on the, his back paw here. So you can see it's really smooth texture. I'll just take a little bit of this. I usually don't like to um, double dip or anything. So I'll put it on a few different fingers. That way I don't have to dip again. I can keep it clean. And so I'll just sort of working it to his paws. And I'm gonna try to do this almost every night and see if it helps. Hopefully it does, but we'll find out. In a few weeks, I'm sure we'll notice some kind of difference if it, whether it helps or if it doesn't help. In the meantime, is if this is something you wanted to take a look at, again, it's called Musher's Secret, and I'll post a Amazon link uh, in the description of this video, and you can just check it out and see what you think. All right, well, thanks for for watching, and we'll see how this goes, and we'll report back to you all. All right, what do you think, Panda? You think it'll work? Uh, well, he's hoping, he's definitely hoping. All right, well, we'll talk to you all again soon, bye-bye.